Next we are going to machine these round chamfers uh, around the part. So I will create new operation to the contouring. Here I have a special tool for this negative radius mill. It looks like this. Okay. And I will select this contour as a job assignment for my operation. Curve. Press run. Oops, I need also to, se to select bottom level as you can see. I select this contour. This contour will be also the bottom level for my machining. Press run. Okay, that's it. In the machining result visibility we can see that this chamfer, this round chamfer is already machined. But here we have some rest material which hasn't been machined of course. So we have uh, dealt with this uh, area earlier. So I will make it once again. So I drag this little element and extend the toolpath. So as you can see this uh, option uh, select and edit similar features together is turned off. So I'm editing these elements uh, separately. But now I will turn it on and edit approach and retract simultaneously. Okay. Like this. So now reset and run. Now we can see that in machining result we can see that our uh, area here with grooves is machined correctly. So here it is for rounded chamfer.